It's old California murder now hitting close to home. Investigators think somebody here in Southeast Texas is likely related to a woman who was murdered back in 1992. What you're looking at are computer generated images of what the victim looked like. Police say she is a victim of Keith Jesperson, also known as the happy face killer. Investigators hope new DNA technology will help them identify this woman. 12 News reporter Ebony Coleman joins us in Ebony. The forensic evidence has led investigators to Southeast Texas. That's right, guys. She was one of eight women murdered by the Happy Face Killer, and she's the only victim they haven't identified. Today, January the 8th, is the day that he was convicted for her murder. Who was this woman, and why was she hitchhiking across California? These questions and more remain unanswered. 32 years after she was strangled to death by the happy face killer. This victim has an identity, has, is a real person, and we want to make sure that we give her back her identity. Riverside County District Attorney Mike Heastron and investigator Ebony Cavanis says Keith Jesperson met the woman August 30th, 1992. Also known as the happy face killer. He's a long haul truck driver that is known to pick up hitchhikers. The DA's office created this video to show what might have happened. He met our victim at a brake check um, on the I-15 South uh, near the Cajon Pass. Jesperson told police the woman who he called Claudia got out of an Albertsons grocery truck and asked him for a ride to LA. She agrees to go with him to Cabazon. He uh, gets back in the big rig truck and he drives um, to the area of Coachella, India, Coachella Valley area, uh, Burns Brothers, and uh, they have dinner there. But it would be Claudia's last meal. They get back in the truck and once they're in the truck, that's when he murders her. Prior to the murder, they got in an argument and uh, he just got angry. Kevin says through using the victim's DNA, they created these images. Female Caucasian with fair complexion. She had a tattoo on her right thumb uh, of two dots. Through DNA, they were able to find Claudia's father, who was from Texas, but he's deceased. So if anyone knows who Alfonso Gonzalez was dating uh, during the 60s and 70s, uh, they know of any idea of who Claudia may be, who her mother may be, can give us a call. Kevin, it says Claudia would have been in her late 20s to early 30s at the time of her murder. Now, if you believe that she may be your loved one, investigators are urging you to contact the Riverside County DA's office. To find out how, head to 12 News Now app. In studio, Ebony Coleman, 12 News.